the moment that they think you're playing a game, they're out of there. Basically, you're playing the game, but you're not playing games. Hey man, you got some of that, uh, those red pills, you know? The ones that are like red, you know? You take them, shit fucking changes. You got some of that? You busted, bitch! I'm kidding. <laughs> so, when you are talking about red pill shit, uh, pickup, seduction, uh, advanced female psychology, um, relationship psychology, uh, being a fuckboy, um, you know, how to, how to get laid. When you're discussing these things, um, women shouldn't be around. Now, women also have their own little secretive game. So, you know, if they ever accuse you of like playing games, they're the kings of it, or I guess the queens. They talk to each other about what you said, send screenshots to each other, like, oh, what did he say? What did he mean by that? He hasn't texted back. Not all girls do it so much, but a lot of girls do it like that. So you have a situation where you both know that you are playing a game, kind of, or a game is being played, you know? Despite that, you don't want her to know that you're uh, very aware of it. You kind of want to play dumb, and this isn't like you're just deceiving her, it's just you're not discussing fucking <laughs> what, how she's feeling and how you're feeling, or like theories on how to fuck a girl in front of her. Like, that's just unnecessary conversation. Uh, but unfortunately, I mean, some of you are like, fucking duh, you know, like don't talk about Fight Club. But when you are very interested in something, when you're a very passionate guy, you're gonna talk about it a lot. Now, it's been tested. I have thoroughly tested how to talk to girls about game and then not have it be an issue. For the most part, it was like I was chopping one of my legs off and trying to win a marathon. Uh, it made things just a thousand times harder and it was completely unnecessary. However, I have the very unique case of doing this for a living. Right. And so it actually helped in, okay, so it wasn't a total waste now that I think about it. It actually helped me learn how to, uh, I guess, advertise my way of life and, uh, you know, the things that I do in my lifestyle and the reasons I do them. And because I was able to articulate that uh, to women through lots of practice uh, by just telling them straight up, what do you do for a living? Oh, you know, I didn't say I teach girls how to... Uh, well, actually, I would say that sometimes. <laughs> I, I'm a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> I literally do the worst thing you can do just to see if I can fucking, you know, if they're going to be like, okay. So I say, uh, I would usually say, oh, I'm a dating coach or, you know, I teach self-improvement for men, you know, and dating advice. Uh, but occasionally I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm a dating coach. And they'd be like, huh, wait, what? And I'm like, I teach guys how to fuck girls. Like... I would sometimes say that uh, <laughs> their reactions would vary. Uh, a lot of times they were very interested. Uh, that's usually the first instinct is interest. Very rarely are they like, what the fuck? Um, but how I explained it and how I uh, communicated it to them in a way without implying that I'm maybe doing Jedi mind tricks or that I'm manipulating women or lying to women or faking it. When I was able to articulate to that to them very thoroughly and very uh, morally correct. I got some success. However, it will create a competitive environment. And the problem with that is, is that very often you're gonna lose because when you are trying to very upfront tell a girl like, you know, these are the things I believe, she's gonna go, wow, this guy's just playing games. He's just, everything he does is a game. And I have been told this a million times and had to explain it, that it's not, but they still sometimes think it, even if I have to I explain it to them. Everything Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, fuck me, okay. <laughs> everything is a game. And so, she sees your every word, every action, every extra minute you wait to text back, uh, everything you said, she double checks it. Everything is a game. 
And so a competitive environment is spawned and she is very, very good because she has the advantage of mass abundance, especially if she's really, really attractive. And also she might have high self-esteem, right? And so she's not gonna put up with you playing these games because she's not going to be gotten and she doesn't want to deal with that shit. And so when you run across really cool, healthy women who are really high value, the moment that they think you're playing a game, they're out of there. Now, in my uh, very specific scenario, um, they eventually saw that it's my lifestyle and my work. And because it is my profession, it's obviously something that I talk about a lot and it's of great interest to me. And also I wanted to get their feedback on it. Um, so yeah, the, the more I think about it, I'm like, it was actually really good that I did it. You know, I tested it out and then now I can, you know, I'll tell them, but it's just not like super important. Um, it's what I do, but it's just like, it's like a trigger thing. So I'll let it out at the right time. But when you don't have that competitive environment, then you're not running the risk of her uh, outsmarting you because she just has that abundance and that uh, the the game and the experience and also women are just far more experienced okay they've been getting hit on since you know they started puberty by the boys in school uh, not all the boys in school had girls hitting on them so on average you know the few 1% or like 10% maybe you know the alphas and the cool guys they were getting experience but all women and especially the beautiful women in such stupid numbers they were getting either hit on or they were getting like the looks but maybe the guys were so fucking intimidating right but they still got that knowledge that they are fucking super hot they've got options but also because they were hit on so much they have the experience and they know how to spot bullshit so when you start to talk about game especially when you don't know what the fuck you're talking about you're not going to be able to talk about it correctly and it's gonna come off stupid and she's gonna either see you as a loser who can't play the game right because if it is you know she does become like super aware that you're playing this game but you're not at the same time it's really hard to fucking explain but basically you're playing the game but you're not playing games maybe that's a better way to put it because everyone's playing the game as i said in the beginning so if anyone wants to try and act innocent like, oh, i'm just myself and it's like what does that mean? You Do you not think about what you say before you fucking say it? Well, if you think about it, then that means you're doing some sort of judgment and analysis on what you're about to say. That sounds like self-awareness, which is pretty much just what a game is, being self-aware of what's going on. But she's gonna be super hyper aware of it and it's become the pink elephant in the room and uh, you're gonna have to address it properly and most of the time you're not going to. So just don't fucking talk about it, okay? Leave that to me, leave it to the professionals. I haven't often been able to say that in my life. <laughs> Leave it to the professional. Now, speaking of professional, I am a professional. I am very mature and I wake up every day at four o'clock in the morning. I'm always on time uh, and I am talking shit. Manukakat. So, <laughs> but I am, prof I am a professional. <laughs> I'm talking shit. I am not a professional. I know nothing. Okay. I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe not all the time. I'm always uh, the most uh, uh, professional with regards to my discipline. However, I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I can teach you as I just did, but with other things as well. So if you like, subscribe and ring the bell, you will see my professionalism uh, expressed in close to 400 videos now and many more when you see this video in a couple years and we'll be at like a million subscribers because fuck you we're awesome now i will teach you specifically however how to approach any girl anytime anywhere but specifically during the day because that's the best way to meet girls so you see a girl walking on the street uh you're waiting for the train and the subway I wait for a bus, uh, you're standing in line to get a coffee. When you find yourself in this situation, how do you approach that girl um, without being creepy uh, in a cool way and in a sexy way and an attractive way, uh, in a way that she finds endearing, but also very comfortable because approaching a girl during the day uh, is a little bit uncommon, but it's not creepy as long as you do it well. And it's also, the best way to meet girls because you're not going to be dealing with the 
fucking distractions and the fucking competition of all these drunk, aggressive assholes around her. And she's not going to be, you know, have her guard up because she went out knowing everyone's going to hit on her. You know, it's kind of a surprise. So it is uncommon. However, it's the best way to meet her because you're not going to be dealing with those things. And also it's going to be fully just between you and her. It's just going to be a seduction, a pure one. And it's going to be comprised of just who you are and who she is. And when you express yourself in the right way, and I'll teach you how to do it, when you give her the right eye contact, when you give her the right body language. And the, what I tell you to say is very simple. I'll tell you right now is I tell you to give her a compliment. Okay. You give her a compliment on something that you genuinely appreciate on her because you don't know her personality yet unless maybe you see her like walking with a very interesting uh swagger maybe and you tell her yeah i like your swagger you know i can tell you're you know a cool girl something that is attractive about her and that you genuinely like you tell it to her in a cool way not in like a sappy like oh my god you're so beautiful and i can't wait to get your number <laughs> no i teach you how to do it in a cool sexy way and then i tell you how to have a conversation what to say and how to ask the right questions so that you have material to create conversation because I'm not going to be teaching you outside of telling you to give her a compliment or ask her what she's up to. I'm not giving you like any lines, right? Cause I can't, first of all, I can't predict a conversation and perfectly. I don't know who she is, what the fuck, you know, you guys are going to talk about. And also that would be corny. That wouldn't be sincere and it wouldn't be genuine. I'm just going to teach you how to, you know, you appreciate her. So you give a compliment. So it's not exactly a line. You're just telling her how you feel or what is she up to? I don't know, that seems like a pretty normal question to me. But these are things that people miss and they don't understand how to put it all in one process. And so I give you those tips and many other simple, but very effective and clear and wise tips that maybe you haven't thought of before and that are so simple and easy to follow. But as soon as you do them, you see, oh, I see why this works. Like giving your name and being the one to introduce yourself because you're the guy and she's the girl. And so you kind of need to lead the interaction. And then you ask her what she's up to because I'm just giving away this product for free now. <laughs> you ask her what she's up to because then you get information for like, hey, I'm coming back from work. Oh, okay, where do you work? Now we got conversation. What do you do? Da 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 da. Simple, very easy, not hard to remember. So check out Meet Girls Everywhere. It will be in the description as a product that you can buy very soon in the near future. But if you need to know how to actually go on the date with her after you meet her and get her number, and ask her out and she's very excited to go on a date with you once you do get on the date what do you do what do you talk about how do you get her horny and fucking into you and they have a you have a connection and you have a fucking bond and she's just like oh my god this is a guy that i met two days ago and i already feel like i've known her for 10 years how do you get that connection with a girl because you really can i mean i'm a shitlord about it but you can definitely get a girl to feel exactly that way about you if you know how to have conversations and if you know how to properly uh, express the best sides of yourself. Because obviously we're always gonna be showing the best sides of ourselves. But it's just, it's just an awesome thing to be able to talk to a girl and have a genuine connection with her and a genuine sexual attraction with her that's free of judgment and is exciting and it's comfortable and you guys actually feel like you're getting to know each other but also you're gonna fuck because we wanna fuck. So you take her home and you fuck her and then possibly if you want because you built such a great connection with her and you found out she's such a great person, turn into a girlfriend. And now you have a girlfriend. So you met her and then you took her on a date and you fucked her and turned her into a girlfriend because that's kind of what a lot of guys want. And if you want to do that, check the description below for one date. And then also more news on Meet Girls Everywhere coming out soon. Hit the ring bell thing that you ring, the bell that you ring. So you get notifications to see all the new news, but you will see it in the description below because we want to make money. So give us money. <laughs> all right. Heck your seal. Girlshades.com. Go fuck yourself. Goodbye.